welcome back to the channel and another video on the Cougar. Now today I was planning on doing the rest of the dash replacement that I started on Saturday because I've got a day off today, it's Monday, um, but I've had a load of deliveries and I'd already got the front of the car stripped so I've whipped the bonnet back off and because um, we've had all these deliveries I can redo the front end and get it looking a bit less horrible from the outside. So I'll just show you what we've got. I did do a video stripping all the car off. It was a bit of a time lapse -y affair, but uh, I did do it. Unfortunately, my phone has decided to do what phones do sometimes and delete the footage. So I can't show you that, but it was basically undoing a whole load of bolts. Um, and obviously draining down the system, taking the rad pack off and everything else. So what we've got today, is literally all this has arrived this morning we've got the new slam panel we've got the new transmission oil cool we've got a new headlight nice big bonnet um what else have we got we've already got in the back the bumper reinforcers um and hiding down here we've got a focus front end that includes um the crash bar which i shall be stealing from for this and repainting um, unfortunately it's decided to suddenly start raining literally just as I've got out here and got set up but never mind that's the joys of working outside inside this will be a separate video but um, this will now be coming out probably after I've done um, the front end now but as you can see it started stripping out the inside and you know ready to replace the dash and the airbags and whatnot so we're, we're moving on um, so there we go let's get on Everything's had a soak of WD-40, so let's get the red carrier off first. Right, I figured that one looked a bit rusty, so I've got my nut remover. Whatever you do, invest in one of these. It's absolutely fabulous. Wish I had one ages ago with the Golf. Completely food out the bolt. I'm not using it again, but then again, you have to use it. It's so rusted all around it, but it ain't coming out. Anymore. For those of you wondering what I'm talking about. This, he says, has like some sharp teeth inside it rather than a normal sort of hexagonal star and it just grips, grips, grips onto that somewhat rusty and food barred bolt.
simple 60 grit going to disc on this. So. So, off camera, I've scuffed it all up with a wire brush, um, giving it some uh, rust treatment on any of the, the bits that I had to, to sand any spots of rust off, and a quick coat of etch primer before I paint it black. So. I've also given the uh, rad carrier a good degreasing, but next up, I'm just gonna take my new slam panel and get the bits and bobs from the old one off and then um, swap them over so that's ready to uh, receive everything else.
Of course, there's one thing we haven't picked up, which is the back of the car. A little rubber gummy that I had to poke out there. There it is. It needs a little bit of jiggery pokery, but it's okay. Every time that's pulled in, it's moved a little bit. And all that, and it's just on there now, just to get it out of the way as much as anything else. So, there we go. Okay. Put this a bit of screen force back on. And one thing I have done with a lot of these bits is degreased them and steamed them just to make them nice and cleaner to handle when you're using them. Because frankly, some of them are a bit grim. Okay, so you're in there. This just pops in. So it's good to have it on. There we go. And that's in. And then just need to do up this nut here to hold it together. Unfortunately. The other one has got lost in um, the accident, the one that goes there, so I will have to find a suitable bolt to go through that now there, just hold that together. But that should be the end of the world. And then that will support the grill and the bags that uh, actually get into the bonnet, which is now fitted when it doesn't fit terribly well um, at the moment. It's not adjusted in any way, shape or form. But does generally fit, so, which is good for me.
So that's the end of this video on the Ford Cougar. I'm a bit disappointed that I couldn't get the crash bar on but I've done a little bit of more research and it seems that I got mixed up and it's the rear crash bar that fits the Focus, the Cougar and the C-Max and the front one is different, well evidently it's different. Um, I've got one coming so hopefully I'll be able to fit that on Friday. So thanks for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, let me know how you think about these videos and hopefully they get a little bit better now I'm um, now I've done a few but uh, please comment and let me know what you think thanks and see you next time